Hello viewers, thank you so much for sticking and staying with the subscription on my channel. My name is King K Africa and on this channel we preach and talk about positivity from the African continent to the world. Today we're going to be having an interesting conversation, a conversation that will blow your mind. Did you know that with the inception of social media, blogging has become one of the most lucrative but yet challenging jobs to pick up nowadays. And I want to let you know that did you know the very first person who started blogging in the world and how the whole blogging name was coined. On this particular episode, I will be telling you the first person who started blogging in the world and the first person interestingly for you to know who started blogging in Ghana. You'll be shocked, as shocked as I was when I discovered it. Before I bring you all the details, my name is King K Africa. And if you're just joining this channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button down there. And once you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the bell in order to get all my videos wherever I post them. Before all this information comes up, let's go for the intro. Alright, thank you very much for sticking and stay on my channel. That was a very beautiful intro, isn't it? Anyway, straight to the business of the day. The first person who started blogging in the world is called Justin Hall. Now, Justin Hall started personal blogging 11 years whilst he was still on campus at Swarthmore College. Yes, whilst he was still on campus in 1994. He started personal blogging by sharing stories of himself and of other people that were closer to him. Yes, did you know that? I guess I just opened your mind to that. And with that inception, a lot of people also picked it up. Such people were Jerry Pornell. Yes, in the early stages, Jerry Pornell also picked up blogging, which has become so common for us in the world today. Let me bring your mind back right here. In Ghana, it will shock you for you to know that the very first person who started blogging in this country started with a website before going on social media and tagged blogging. His name is Amayal Debra. Yes, you're shocked. I was shocked as you are right now. Amayal Debra is the first Ghanaian who started blogging in Ghana. And he is still blogging, doing amazing works for this country in the blogging industry. Amayal Debra, today on Positivity Channel, I, King K Africa, the number one positivity promoter and supporter of our very own and people from the continent and of the world. I celebrate you today for introducing blogging into this country. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're a new viewer, whether you're watching this on Facebook or on YouTube, just go to YouTube and type King K Africa. Yes, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. Once you hit the bell, you get all my videos that I will be producing. But I also want to share with you a story. And the story I want to share with you with is photography. Yes, how well do you know photography? And in recent times, there's a lot of trends that is going around with people posting pictures of our oldies and tagging them with what they started with 
for the very first time in this country and the world as a whole. But most of it, yes, because it's playful, it's false. But I'm bringing you the real juice about the real people that started those particular things. And today, on positivity, I want to tell you that one man who started photography, yes, and I mean photography, way back in the early 60s, his name was Henri Cartier-Bresson. Yes, I will repeat the name again. His name is Henri Cartier-Bresson. Henri Cartier-Bresson was the only man way back in the early 60s who took a picture of a person who jumped and he captured that moment of that person in the air. So that picture became a decisive moment. And the picture was termed as an Henri Cartier-Bresson picture, meaning a picture of a person who jumped and suspended in the air. And that picture was captured by Henri Cartier-Bresson. Today, blogging is not only done with words, but it's also done with images. These images tell the stories of what the bloggers want us to see in their mind's eye. Today, I celebrate Henri Cartier-Bresson, but most importantly, I celebrate Ame Aldebra. Ame Aldebra, King K Africa and Ghana as a country, celebrate you. And we say thank you very much for your God-given talent. I see you as a mini God given to us by the greater God. Ame Aldebra. You're one of the greatest bloggers in this country, Africa, and the world as a whole. As you've traveled the world, done interviews with a lot of great people, and you're still alive, and you're still kicking it, and you're still making it happen. Thank you very much for blessing this country and the world with your talents. For those who do not know, Ameya Debra is the very first person who started blogging in this country. The media are the ones who keeps the people in this country in check, especially the politicians. So my question is, who also keeps the media in check when they are not promoting, posting, or putting out there things that are not worth consuming by our children and some people in this country? So on this Positivity channel, we've introduced a segment called Who Polices the Media? And of course, King K Africa is here to police the media. Another thing, you will be shocked to see me do some amazing things that I am about to put out there. Yes, King K Africa will be doing something spectacular that you've never seen. So stay glued to my channel and I'll be giving you details of that fantastic thing that I will be doing pretty soon. Info coming soon on this channel. But then again, on a lighter note, just to give you a heads up, Assassin Sound Clash. Yes, Assassin Sound Clash will be coming on on the 12th of September. And King K Africa, I'll be streaming it live on my channel. Because, hey, I support Ghana music, even though I love music from the world. But I support Ghana music. I support Stoneboy. I support Shatawali. May the best person win. So I'll be streaming it live on King K Africa. So if you've not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell down there, yes, to subscribe. So that as soon as I start streaming it, you get the view for it. In closing, my name is King K Africa. And it's been positivity on this channel. To leave you, I'll leave you with a thriller of the Asasi Sound Clash. To everything, there is a given time. A time to run. And a time to roll. A time to flee. 
at a time to clash. Queens and Lords, Warriors and Gladiators, the battle you've been waiting for is here. From Bin Nation, the God made from stone, and from Shatter Movement, the Dawn Who Shatters. 8 p.m. September 12, 2020, Assassin's Sound Clash brings you Stonewall vs. Shatterwale, who will be crowned the King of Dancehall. Tune into Assassin Radio 99.5 and follow us for more updates. Don't be told about it. Be a witness.